Good morning. Today we're going to talk about measuring because one of the key things is to learn to get a fairly accurate drawing and some of you can do that just by looking and some artists can do that. Others need to measure and most artists at one stage or another are going to measure to check their work. Now when we talk about measuring we often talk about measuring with a ruler so I could measure the bottle. I know it's six centimetres wide and it's ten, almost 10 centimetres high. So I could use a ruler to measure but today I'm going to use a pencil for my measurement and my finger and the reason I'm going to do that is that helps us with the next stage of measuring when we might be looking at real objects in the distance or real people and we want to make sure we've got an accurate representation. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure the the thing I'm drawing on, my destination if you like, is the same proportion and orientation as my source picture. So this is my source, this is my destination. So I've drawn a wee box around here, I can use a ruler for this, just try and make that a wee bit harder so you can see the edge. So I've got to make sure my edges are nice. Now when you're drawing, I want you to try to draw very lightly. You'll see me drawing quite strongly because I want you to be able to see the lines. I might even need to use pen. I'll have to check. So my first job is to measure where this bottle starts. I'm right handed. So for me, it makes sense to go this way. You might want to start with a different object. That's OK. So this is the finger I'm using to measure and I'm using the tip of the pencil. If I hold my pencil like this, I can get a wee bit closer and the aim is so that I don't have to move my hand very much from one to the other. So I'm going to place my finger at the edge of the paper and I'm going to place the tip of the pencil at the edge of the bottle because that's what I want to measure. I want to measure how far the bottle is from the edge of the paper. Okay, so I'm going to do the same here. So I, t I literally lift my hand up, place it on my paper, tilt my pencil down and I've got my line there. Okay, so there is the edge of my bottle. I'm going to do the same to find out how far it is from the edge of the bottom here. So tip of my pencil goes here, my measuring finger if you like goes at the edge of the paper and the other fingers are just there to support it but I know I'm measuring between the tip of my pencil and this finger, that one there, that's, that's my measurement. When I lift this off I don't have to move that, I do actually because I can't reach it from the edge but I don't have to move my hand okay at all I just place my finger down there pop that down there and there is my measurement of where my bottle starts okay now we get to the slightly more sensible bits makes more sense here so I'm going to measure the width of the bottle so holding my pencil like so point of the pencil here finger measuring finger just at the edge so I know that's my measurement between this finger and that tip of my pencil and I can just place the pencil down and easily tip my pencil and place a remark there. Same with the height. Tip of the pencil at the top of the bottle, my finger measuring finger at the base of the bottle. I'm just going to pop that down. I've done this earlier. So there's the top of my bottle. I know my bottle is going to fit now into, uh, into this shape here. All right. I also know my bottle is symmetrical, so more or less. So I'm going to do some extra guidelines. I'm going to measure down here. There's my centre. I'll just go a little bit harder so that you can see. There's the centre of the bottle. And there's a few other things going on here. So I know this bottle slightly at an angle, so the, the shoulder of the bottle is slightly uh, tilted. I'm not going to worry too much about that. What I will think about is how far to the neck of the bottle. So finger there, pencil at the neck of the bottle. I'm going to need to lift this up so I can get there. Finger there, pencil at the neck of the bottle. That is where the neck of the bottle is going to go. All right, there we go. So I've got my measurements, my proportions of that bottle in, more or less. I'm going to get the width of the, the neck of the bottle. It's one side here and one side here. Alright, from here 
it's much easier now for me to start to draw that bottle in because I know where it's going to fit. I know it's going to fit inside these lines. Just try and make it nice and hard so that you can see that. So I know the bottle's more or less going to fit here. Um, it would be easier for me if this was was down on the page. I'm not going right over this bit because I've got something else in front of it. All right, I'm not doing any more on the bottle for now. I'm going to move on to this object here. So this uh, curry dish. I'm measuring where it starts. So finger there, pencil here. Finger here, pencil there. So it starts about here. All right, there's where it's going to start. Let's see how far it is from the top, from the bottom here. I'm going to go from the top because of where my page is. So I'm going to put my, that's my dog. I'm going to put my pencil here. My finger here, sorry, here, and pencil at the tip. So I know where the top of that curry dish is. Uh, I'll do the same thing here and just mark that in. All right. Uh, all I'm doing is just marking it in for now. Now, the handles give us a clue. The handles are tilted that way. So I'm going to do a wee line. I'm just going to place my pencil here. It's diagonal. I'm going to place it here. Now this bit is a bit tricky, so you might not get this bit straight away. But I'm going to do myself a wee guideline here to remind me that's a bit wonky, right? Just that the, the bowl is a wee bit wonky. So I'm now going to measure from this handle to this handle here. Handles are sticking out a bit, so gets a bit complicated. So there's my handle and there's my other handle. My other handle's right up here. Okay. And I can also measure how high it is or how low it is from the edge, just to give myself an extra measurement. So see how there I've made a complete mistake. I thought that was a lot higher and it's not. It comes to here. And I had it coming up to here. So that was worth me checking that to check it's accurate. There's the edge of my handle and there's the edge of the other handle, which I can't really see. It's tipping in a wee bit. Base of the, the bolty dish, I think is probably about this far away. So I'm just going to pop it in there. And the actual width of the dish without the handles starts maybe about here. And I'm going to measure to the other side. It's about there. And I can measure the width. So I've got this height here. I'm just going to measure the width from there to there. So there is my there is my width. Now this is an elliptical shape. So having these having these wee bits in here is kind of helpful. Just to know where my ellipsis go is going. A bit tricky to draw at this angle. Sorry. <laughs> 